At the moment, I'm working with black silicon solar cells. So when you have like a normal silicon solar cell, you'll see it's slightly blue in color. And it means that the blue part of the spectrum is being reflected, which it equates to a loss because you're not absorbing that part of the light. So when you um, grow silicon nanowires, they're like cylindrical silicon, really tiny in the nanometer range. And when you grow it on the surface, you actually can absorb more light. You reduce the reflectivity from 40 to like 2 to 3 percent. What we're studying now is that when you grow these nanowires like these and then they bunch up, we want to see what effect that has on the electrical energy produced. So does it increase, does it decrease it? And in sense, we can understand what kind of texturing on the surface of my solar cell will best absorb most light. If you have more efficient solar cells, you're reducing the cost of solar energy. And as 40% of the carbon dioxide emitted per year is from burning fossil fuels, if I can replace that with these efficient solar cells, then most definitely we can tackle climate change a bit better. We can use it for any application that requires the sensitivity of light. Like you guys are filming me, and um, you need a camera for that, and you need a camera that is sensitive to light, especially if it's at night. For example, um, NASA is actually working on photo detectors which um, detect light from stars. And if you can actually texture it with silicon nanowires, as structures that can absorb more light into the solar cell or into the device, you can actually detect stars better. So the two aspects, the energy aspect, which helps in tackling climate change, but also helping the sensitivity of light in different applications.